Helgen. Hello guys, um, today I'm going to do a review for the Man of Steel. And yes, this is a not spoilers. So, if you were wondering, it, this is not a spoiler, so if you have not seen this movie, you can watch this video, but I really recommend watching that movie. It's cool, and let's get started. I'm going to be telling you the good, the bad, and my rating. How many stars I put in, and of course, the ultimate stars is five. Now let's get started. I got to start with the good. The good. The good about that movie I loved how it started because um it was so cool you get to see when when the the when Superman was actually born and um but something that I really like those weird robot thingies that like turn into um <clears throat> maps or like uh or like um <clears throat> or calling someone um you might not not know what I'm talking about because it's hard to exp to describe those things, but I really like those. I loved General Zod. I think he was a really cool character, and um, so yeah, it was a really cool movie. Um, my favorite character in that movie has got to be General Zod. I I always aim for the vi almost every superhero movie. My the villains are my favorite are my favorite character. I don't know why. I think I find them I think I find them interesting in a movie. But of course they're not cool in real life, like they're bad. But <clears throat> the good good storytelling, I, I like that storytelling that they put in I like the plot. Um I I love that Superman thing where you where you where it sucks into this machine and you press that the Superman button. I really like that. I love how um you know how I'm always an action person. Some people aren't. Some people just don't <clears throat> want to see calmness, some action and stuff. I'm always for a little bit calmness, like uh trying to get the drama in a little and sadness a little. And then you can have some a lot of action, which really did well with the Avengers. That's why I, lo I love the Avengers so much because it, it had a lot of action and 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 a good fare of drama and and um, you know when you need to calm down and just watch a movie where you just get calm and watch it. Now for the bad. The bad for this movie. What can I say that's bad? Oh, here's one. At some scenes, like if you pair them up, it's like it's like a lot. But in some scenes, you just get so bored. Like um, the starting was awesome. Like it was it was it was an awesome. Uh, it tells the the story of Superman, how he finds his powers and stuff. But it's just the it's just sometimes it's boring to watch and um and uh sometimes you don't even understand when he if he's a kid and um it's just th that's what I felt another thing about it um is that we didn't really get to see Superman like notice his powers or like sure we got like a couple flashbacks but I think it would have been nice to to see him as a baby born in Krypton and then see Krypton be destroyed and everything and and then you will just you'll just see him you, you, and then you'll just see him grow up and notice his powers and I think that would that would be that would have been really awesome but um no and if there was spoilers in this video, I'm sorry. I don't. I I I kind of didn't realize this might not be spoilers. It might, but yeah, that's my review for the Man of Steel. And and if you didn't watch this movie, I really recommend watching it. Um, I. 
I wouldn't recommend buying one of those packs, but if you really want to watch it, just buy the movie. But I wouldn't recommend buy those packs with like a Superman action figure or something. But if you're a really crazy Superman fa fan, then go for it. I'm not telling you what to do. So, yeah, that's my review, guys. Uh, something, something, these messages. I'm Ramon Amador, and well, bye.